I'm really pleased you decided to join me today for this short and hopefully relaxing mini class. So just before we begin, it might be a good idea to gather a few things from around you that you could use as props. You don't need specific yoga props, but maybe just find a couple of cushions, perhaps a folded blanket, just one or two items that could perhaps provide you with a little bit of extra support for your body when you're practicing. And then place them close to your mat within easy reach. And when you're ready, come in to find a comfortable cross-legged seat. And if it feels a little bit tight on your hips here, on your lower back, then perhaps you want to sit up onto a cushion for just a little bit of extra ease in your hips. And when you're ready, closing your eyes. First, take a moment to feel what's happening in your posture. See if you can allow your shoulders to soften back and down. And if this is hard, maybe roll the shoulders a couple of times backwards. Just letting them soften. Shoulder blades moving down the back of the ribcage. And then also take a moment to feel what's happening in your spine. We don't want to be straightening too much upwards, flattening out the curves, but neither do we want to be slumping, sitting into a curled spine. So see if you can find a nice neutral position in the middle, where you can feel the curves in your spine and you can sit comfortably. And for a few moments, turning your attention towards your breath. And just notice how your breath is right now. And perhaps your breath is calm and slow. Or perhaps it's a little more irregular. And perhaps your breath is deep moving into your chest, into your body. And perhaps it's quite shallow, quite subtle. Maybe your breath is shifting mainly towards your ribcage, towards your chest cavity. Or maybe it's moving more towards your mouth. All of these possibilities are good. There's no need to consciously change anything. Just spend a few moments observing how your breath is today. Notice how your body expands on your in breath. And relaxes down on your out. Staying here a few more breaths. And when you're ready, on an exhale, open up your eyes. We're going to begin by taking the left fingertips down to the mat. And drawing our right ear down towards the right shoulder. So see if you can really reach out through the fingertips, finding a little bit of length in the arm, through the shoulder and up into the neck. And perhaps this is enough for you, but if you would like to add a little bit of extra stretch, you can perhaps place your right hand to the outside of the head and just Lend the weight to drawing the ear a little bit further down. And we don't want to pull the head down here. We're just using the weight of the hand, the effect of gravity, to bring us a little deeper into the stretch. Your gaze is either directly forwards, or perhaps 
perhaps you want to close your eyes, just keeping your focus inside. Take three more breaths on this side. Last one. And then releasing the arm. Taking the hand down. On an inhale, left arm comes high, reaching through the fingertips. And as you exhale, reaching out to your right. And perhaps you want to slide your right arm a little further out to support you. See if you can keep your chest open to the front. And reaching out to the fingertips. And we also want to try and keep our left sit bone deeply into the mat here. It can be tempting to just allow it to rise a little bit up. But see if you can keep pressing down into the left sit bone as you reach out through your left fingertips. Again, your gaze is either forwards or just gently closing your eyes. Taking a couple more breaths on this side. switching over to the other side. So right fingertips are now reaching down towards the mat and the left ear dropping down towards the left shoulder. And perhaps just staying like this, this already provides a really nice stretch. Or perhaps you want to intensify, placing the hand to the outside of the head and just lending a little bit of extra weight. Inhale, the right arm comes high, reaching up. And exhale, reaching out to the left. And once again, think about keeping that right sit bone grounded into the mat while you reach through to the left fingertips. And you can always take that left arm a little bit further out to the side for a bit more support. Keeping the chest rotating up. Staying a few more breaths on this side. Alright, one more breath. Placing the hands down in front of you and taking the knees a little bit backwards so your knees are directly under your hips and your hands are beneath your shoulders. From here, trying to keep the knees and the hips in line, we're going to walk our arms forwards in front of us and softening the head and the chest down towards the mouth. So see if you can allow your heart centre, your sternum, to really move downwards here. Encouraging a little bit of softness in between the shoulder blades. Hips keep moving up and back behind you. Seeing if we can lengthen a little bit through the spine. Two 
two more breaths here. into the hands, looking up, and we're going to thread our left arm underneath the right, bringing the left shoulder, the right shoulder and cheek down onto the mat. So right arm is underneath the left, right shoulder and cheek moving downwards. See if you can bring as much weight as your body will allow into the shoulder, finding a mild twist into the spine. Couple more breaths here. And then pressing into the left hand, coming into the center, and switching over to the other side. So left arm passing underneath the right, left shoulder and cheek coming down to the mat, and right arm extending forwards. Again, trying to bring some weight down into that right shoulder. Two more breaths here. And then on your inhale, bring the arms forwards and walking the hands back underneath the shoulders. From here, we're going to tuck the toes under, pressing the sit bones back towards the heels. And waiting for an exhale to extend ourselves up into downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in. And on the exhale, pressing the heels down in the direction of the mat. One more breath in here. And Now inhale, walking the feet forwards towards the hands. Take your time, bend the knees, and reaching the front, bending the knees deeply, feet at hip width apart. Just allow your upper body to hang down over your legs. So soften your neck, let your head hang. And maybe you want to roll the shoulders a little bit. Maybe you want to gently move the head around. Just soften through the body, maybe even moving a little bit through the hips. Nice. All right. And coming back to stillness in the center. As you inhale, looking forwards. And as you exhale, start to bring the legs a little bit straighter, folding forwards and down. If you have any pain in your lower back, then it's nice to keep a gentle bend in your knees here. But otherwise, you might like to start bringing the legs a little bit straighter. You can just allow your arms to hang down towards the yoga mat. Don't worry about how close you get to the floor, it's not important. Just let your body hang. See if you can find some softness in your upper body here. I'm going to stay here for another three breaths. One more breath in. And now as you inhale, lift your chest. 
bend your knees a little bit more. And as you exhale, step yourself back onto hands and knees. We're going to take the knees a little bit wider now, wider than the hips, drawing the toes towards each other and sinking our sit bones back towards our heels. So just begin here, really pressing the sit bones back. Allow them to become heavy. Now you have a couple of options here. We're gonna come down into child's pose. If you feel that it's hard to get your sit bones back towards your heels, then maybe now is a nice time to grab some of your props, placing them down in front of you, so that you can rest your upper body over the props, relaxing your arms down either side. If you feel like you have quite a bit of space in your hips and you can come a little bit deeper, then just lowering your chest down towards the mat. Maybe keeping your arms stretching out in front. Maybe bending the elbows a little bit, relaxing the shoulders. Or perhaps taking your arms back alongside your body. These are all good options, so just experiment for a moment and find what is the most comfortable option for you. We're gonna spend a minute or so here, so just allow yourself a little bit of space. Let your breath settle down. And see if you can focus on keeping your hips weighing back and down. Focus here on your inhale and your exhale. Feel how as you breathe in, perhaps your chest, perhaps your belly presses outward. And as you exhale, you feel that gentle release. Last few breaths here. And then taking your arms back alongside your body if they weren't already there. Taking a deep exhale. And as you inhale. Rolling yourself back up to center. Placing your hands down, crossing your ankles behind you, and seeing if you can roll yourself back to center. All right, nice. Extending the legs forwards and just shaking out. Maybe you want to make some circles with your ankles. Maybe you want to shake the legs a little bit. So again, make sure you have your props close by in case you decide you want them. And we're gonna begin with a butterfly pose. So start by drawing your feet a little bit in towards you, not too far, and dropping the knees out to the sides, bringing the soles of the feet together. We don't want the heels to be too close to the pelvis. We want a reasonable distance so that the legs are making this square shape. Now our intention is going to be to fold a little bit down. Maybe for you that's not going to be too far, that's absolutely fine. We're just going to place our hands onto the ankles. And our aim is to come down with a little bit of a rounded spine. So here you can drop your chin to your chest. And as you start to fold forwards, allow your shoulders to curl forwards and down. Inviting a little bit of stretch along the back of the body. Now, if this pose is feeling a little bit intense for you, we have a few different options. You can place your cushions underneath your knees for a little bit of extra.
extra support. This can be really nice. And you can also place a cushion just under your sit bones if you're finding this too much in your spine. If, however, you're feeling like you have a little bit of extra space in your hips and you want to come a little bit deeper, it can be very nice here to use a pillow as a support. So as you start to curl forwards and down, you can rest your head down onto your pillow, which just supports you coming into the pose a little bit deeper. So we all have a slightly different skeletal setup, so just allow yourself to find the right version of this pose for you, whatever that may be. And when you've found that version, see if you can become a little bit still. See if you can accept your pose, accept how your body feels here, and just let your mind settle down to following your inhale and your exhale. Stay here a little bit longer. Always remember that it's fine to make adjustments. If the pose has become too much, if you can feel tension building up in your body, it's always okay to back off a little bit. Or if on the other hand you feel that with time your body is relaxing and opening up, then it's okay to come a little bit deeper. See if you can keep your mind fixed on what's happening in your body what's happening with your breath, so that you can be really responsive to what your body needs right now. Taking your last few breaths here. And then on an inhale, draw yourself back up to center. Placing any props a little bit away from where you are. We're going to place our right hand down, leaning gently to the right side so that we can take our left leg back behind us and drawing our right heel a little bit closer in towards us. Our hands come down either side of the right leg and we're going to gently rotate our upper body towards our right thigh. And then from here, slowly folding down over that right leg. So we're going to try and bring some weight into that right leg if we can, resting our upper body now. And perhaps you're going to stay here, resting onto your forearms. Perhaps you want to take hold of your pillows to you rest your head down onto them. Or perhaps you would like to come a little bit deeper, reaching your arms out and bringing your forehead in the direction of the ground. Just find the position that is right for your body, that is comfortable for you. Something that has a little bit of challenge, but where you can also find some peace.
one more breath in here. And then as you inhale, bring yourself back up to center. Extending your right leg forwards, leaning a little bit to the right, and bringing your left leg forwards as well. Placing your hands down behind you, and on an inhale, just press your chest up towards the seat. And maybe if it's okay for your neck, allowing the head to drop a little bit back. Just taking a couple of breaths here, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then coming back up to center. And we're going to move to the other side. So we're curling our left leg in towards us, leaning a little bit to the left, and swinging our right leg back. Fingertips down either side of the left thigh and rotating our upper body towards the left. So that we can then fold ourselves forwards and down. And again, we're trying to bring a little bit of weight into that left thigh here. So we add a bit of compression into the hip joint. And maybe you stay here on your forearms. Maybe you come onto your pillows. Or maybe become a little deeper. Last couple of breaths. And as you inhale, drawing yourself back up. Extending the left leg, leaning to the left, and bringing the right leg. one of your cushions and place the cushion down behind you on the mat and our intention is to come and recline down over the cushion so that the cushion is underneath your shoulder blades underneath your ribcage and your arms come out to the side and you have two options here you can either keep your legs extended out along the yoga mat or if your hips feel like they would like a little bit of extra stretch then you can take the soles of the feet together and take the knees out to the side. But we've already worked quite a lot in the hip joints, so decide whether this is something you want or whether perhaps your hips need a little bit of rest now. And just turn your head up towards the sea, close your eyes. And for a few times, see if you can direct your breath towards your chest. Breathe deeply into your ribcage. And as you exhale, let your shoulders soften down. If at any point you have your knees out to the side and it becomes too much for your hips, you can always draw your knees back together and extend the legs down along the mat. See if you can focus a little bit and allow your shoulders to really heavily weigh down on you. Your arms are relaxed. 
palms and hands up. Just encouraging a little bit of relaxation in the shoulder joints. We're going to stay here a few more breaths. Placing the soles of the feet onto the mat. Bringing your hands down by your sides and just lifting your chest a little bit up so you can slide the cushion out from underneath you. And coming to lie back down onto the mat. Arms down by your sides. We're going to extend the legs up towards the ceiling and just gently shake them out. So keep your ankles loose, knees slightly bent. Just relax your legs fully. Alright. And bring the knees back down, the feet onto the mat. And taking the feet as wide as the yoga mat. And just before we come to Shavasana, we're going to take a few rotations, taking both of the knees down to the left, then back to the center, and down to the right. So just move the knees, swaying them from side to side a few times. Move slowly and carefully. All right. And coming into the center. And extending the legs. Coming to find your Shavasana. So shoulder blades perhaps a little bit rolled underneath. Palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. And allow yourself to relax. Feel the weight of your body sinking down into the mat. And starting at the top of your head. See if you can relax the muscles in your forehead. Softening them, relaxing the eyebrows, those small muscles around the eyes, relaxing the cheeks and the lips and the jaw, relaxing the throat, and softening the shoulders, allowing them to be heavy. Relaxing the upper arms, the elbows, relaxing the forearms and the wrists, softening through the palms of the hands and the fingers. Relaxing your ribcage and the belly. Softening the hips. Relaxing your thighs, your knees, your calves and your ankles. Feeling the softness of the soles of the feet. Feel the weight of your body sinking downwards. And the support of the ground pressing back to See if you can imagine any tension that's left in your body ebbing away into the mat. Allow yourself these few moments to relax.
and now begin to invite a bit of movement back into your body. Perhaps begin with making the breath a little bigger, a little deeper. And then starting to move a little bit into the fingers and the toes. And perhaps you want to turn your head from side to side. And perhaps you want to stretch out, lengthening through your body. And relaxing the shoulders down. And when you're ready with a small bend in your knees, rolling over onto one side. Trying to keep the eyes closed for these last few moments. And with your upper hand pressing down into the mat, help yourself up to come and find a cross-legged seat. Reaching your arms out in front of you. Turning your palms up towards the ceiling. Bowing down for yourself. And then opening your eyes, coming back to sit. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me with your practice today.